Today's video for Pipe Don't Paint, I'm actually going to explain to you why Pipe Don't Paint was invented and physically show you how putting metallic paints into your icing does not work. So that's why we had to invent Pipe Don't Paint. Alright. To start with, I have some silver luster powder and some gold luster powder. Now I'm actually going to mix them in with some royal icing just to demonstrate how you cannot get the metallic finish that you get with Pipe Don't Paint or by painting your royal icing afterwards by mixing it into your icing and using it directly into your icing. So the first thing we need to do because we've already established that luster powders are water insoluble we have to add some dipping solution or some clear alcohol. Um, most countries call it different things. Australia we call it dipping solution in Western Australia but in New South Wales they call it rose water essence. So basically any clear alcohol like vodka, gin, anything like that that you mix it with because you need to mix this to a paste so that you can mix it in with your icing. Alright so we're just mixing this through. It's just a small amount of silver with some alcohol so that I can show you when you add it to your royal icing and I would assume with buttercream, I've never actually tried it with buttercream that you would get the same sort of effect. Alright, so that's mixed in. I'm going to do the gold one. We'll do them both at the same time just to demonstrate what we mean for new people out there that have never used luster powders and are trying to make gold and silver for their cakes. Now normally you would use this and dilute it even further to make a um, paint and you would go back and paint your royal icing with the paint and that's why we've called our product Pipe Don't Paint because basically you just pipe with it and there's no painting required afterwards. Alright so we've mixed up those, we're going to now add some royal icing which we may have made earlier, let's get a scraper. Put a little bit. Now you don't have to worry about it being diluted too much by the water content because basically you're using alcohol and alcohol evaporates quickly. So that's one of the reasons for using alcohol in this. So let's put that in. And I want to show you what happens when we mix it. We'll start with the silver. Alright, so we're mixing it through. Now remember, we want silver, we don't want grey, we want to have a nice silver effect. Now at this point in time, we're not getting it. Alright, so we've now gone to a grey icing. There you go, a grey icing, not silver. Alright, now when you look at the pipe don't paint that we actually sell, because it's going into a clear gel, you can actually see that this is silver. Whereas this is grey with a little bit of a shimmer, but it's not actually silver. Okay, now we'll do the gold. Mix the gold one through. Now, it's not really turning out goldy, it's turning out going a bit more yellowy. Rather than that lovely metallic gold that we had before. Alright, so now that's the gold one. So basically, it's gone to a yellow. It's still got a bit of a shine, but when you compare that to the gold pipe don't paint, this is definitely a gold colour. Now we've used exactly the same colours in it, and these are the effects that you're getting from the royal icing. Okay, so from there we've established really it doesn't work. You can't do that. So, the process that we have used, or that I have used for the last 29 years in cake decorating, and that has been around for the last 29 years in cake decorating, is to pipe with royal icing. Now I'm using a number two tube here, with royal, and you pipe whatever inscription, embroidery work, whatever you want to make. You just go by and pipe it, like so. I'm just going to write happy birthday, probably just happy in the end. OK, 
Okay, once that's piped, we would normally leave it to dry. So now you've got to consider, you're going to do this with embroidery work if people want their embroidery to be gold, silver, or a metallic colour, because there's a lot of metallic colours now out on the market. So basically I've piped happy birthday in white icing. All right, after that has dried, you would then go back and paint it with your metallic luster powder. So this is the same silver, which is already in a container, and this one here is already mixed up. This is the same gold. Now this has been mixed with dipping solution, or as I said, the alcohol, just to show you how you go through. Now this one hasn't been mixed, or well, it has been mixed, but it's evaporated. So I'm going to add a little bit more solution in there to show you how to mix it. You don't need much. All right, so for the amount that's in here, we just add a little bit and then we stir it so that it goes like so. Now that's too thick to pipe with. I don't know if you can see. That's a bit too thick. I mean to paint with. It's all globby, globby. So basically we add more dipping solution. All right, now normally, as I said, you would leave the royal icing to dry, in which case I'm not going to because I want to show you how you do this and the reasons for buying pipe don't paint. This is a time consuming process because basically you have to go back and paint with a very fine paintbrush over the top of your royal icing. Now, in the process of painting, you can miss, in which case you're getting silver paint or gold paint or whatever colour you're doing onto your icing which means you've got to try and work out how to get it off. Alright now the piping work is easy as far as I'm concerned. Piping it is ten times faster than painting it. So basically you have to go back like this with a paintbrush and paint over the top and hopefully not hit the icing underneath depending on what size tube you're using very very difficult because if you want to use a double zero tube then basically it's flat on the icing and you're trying to paint over it. Basically we go like this. Now when you actually look at it, hold it up to the camera, you can see that the front or the top is completely silver and that's the sort of colour you want. Now when we had our royal icing that mix, was mixed, this is the colour we're getting, which is a grey sort of a colour, whereas this is the silver lustery colour we're getting when we paint it. Now the only thing is, when you actually look at it on a level like that, you can actually closely see that you can't get around the edge or anything, so there's actually still white icing underneath or whatever colour icing you've done it underneath. So it's not a full coating of silver or gold or anything like that. And it's time consuming. Now at Cakes by Karen, which is the wedding cake business I operate, basically we would get a lot of mini iced cakes to do and we would get asked to put the guest names on them. Now in the process of putting the guest names on them, that's fine if it's blue or red or pink, but a lot of people wanted it in gold and silver. So basically we would have to go and write 120 names on these cakes and then go back and paint them all which was a very, very time-consuming process. This is the reason why I went out and invented Pipe Don't Paint. Now, a lot of people have told me that Pipe Don't Paint is very expensive, but the way I look at it, for the amount of time that it saves you in the process of painting things, and the fact that you can just do this job once because you're piping with it, as opposed to having to go back and paint it, I find that this product is actually time-saving and I'm not actually selling Pipe Don't Paint. The way I look at it, I'm actually selling Cake Decorator's Time because by selling Cake Decorator's Time, it's the most important thing because we all leave everything to the last minute. We all take on too much work or we take on a task that's way beyond our level of completing. So it takes us twice as long to do and then we can't actually get it done. Well, we get it done, but we actually have to stay up all night to do it. So basically, that's how you go when you pipe with your gold and your silver. All right, now I have put some pipe don't paint, some gold and some silver into a piping bag to show you the ease of actually piping 
with pipe don't paint. Now I'm using a number two tube in both of these to do the same thing with the pipe don't paint. It's like that. You just pipe it. The whole thing's covered in the silver and even though this one doesn't look that silvery, it dries very silvery. Okay, so there's your happy in silver and here's your happy in gold. And it's just one application. You pipe it straight on and it's done. No need to go back and pipe again. So basically, if you are a professional cake decorator, this will save you so much more time because you're not double handling. And if you're not a professional cake decorator and you only do one cake a year for your son or your daughter's birthday and you're just an amateur, this will save you.